Hey everybody and welcome back. So today's haul is from Zape Bath. Zape Bath <laughs> Zape Bath's owner is Ashley. Ashley is an amazing vendor. She is super creative. She is super busy and um she does she does do wax full time, I believe. And she's based in she was in Vegas, but she's not in Vegas anymore. She's in Kansas, I think. And so, um, I really like to, like, whenever I support vendors, it has, it, it has to do with something. Like, her wax is amazing, but, um, Ashley is just very involved in the group, and she's super funny. Like, if you really, like, look at her videos and, like, look at her posts and stuff like that, like, she's super creative, she's super funny, and she's just a, like, a hustler because she is always working, always pouring new wax. I actually thought that the next, um, wax list wasn't going to be as big, but it was really big. I thought that she was going to slow down um, because for the July uh, uh, restock, I felt like things didn't sell out as quickly. Like there's still some stuff like for this restock. This is the July. This is the July restock, and some of the stuff is still on the site like right now. And so anyway, um, but let's see. Also, she has year-round scents so that she has in clamshells. But she also has limited edition shapes. And so sometimes she'll have the, like the year-round scent as well as the shape. But the shape is limited edition, meaning you may not see it again for another year. Most likely you won't because there are a couple of them here that I haven't seen in a year. Like this one, that one, those two. I haven't seen them in a year. And so, but we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll start with this one. Uh, like you, like I said, it says limited edition, and this is Welcome to Stepford. This is a newer scent, I believe. She released it, like, maybe in June or May. So, this is, a, like, a re-release of, no? I don't know when she had this one, but I know that I saw the scent description before. Maybe it was in the cupcake uh, sampler. So, maybe this was part of the sampler, but it is a newer scent. It's Welcome to Stepford. It's Lemon Curd, Strawberry, and Sugar Cookie. Is this a newer scent? Let me know. Let me know down below if this is a newer scent. I could be all wrong. But uh, welcome to Step Stepford Lemon Curd, Strawberry, and Sugar Cookie. I've been obsessed over lemon and strawberry with that slight bakery. Like, so you have lemon and bakery, which smells like a lemon cake. But then there are these lemon scents with like only a tiny bit of bakery, like lemon curd and marshmallow, because she has um, Drop of Sunshine, which is lemon curd and uh, wafers or something like that. It's a really nice scent. That's more on the bakery side to me though. This one is just more tart and sweet, and this shape is absolutely adorable. And right now, the sugar cookie is there. Like you can tell that this isn't just lemon and strawberry. The sugar cookie is definitely there. Um, but it's not super prominent, which I love because sometimes I want a lemon bakery, but seldomly. I like this type of lemon, and I feel like this isn't focusing. Bring it back. I don't know why this isn't focusing. Now is it focusing? I don't know. But this is the cutest shape. Oh. So good. I'm so happy it stayed intact because it's so hot. It was so hot the day that this got delivered. It might have melted it down a little bit more, but it was so hot the day it was delivered. Um, things were just mushy. But this one I love. So happy about it. I got that one. The next one is Wine Country. And when I tell you I've been wanting this since last year, I've been wanting this since last year. This is Fig, pear, white musk, and Chardonnay. I wanted to see it ever since I saw Lindsay's video um, and she was raving about it. And I wanted to try it and I couldn't try it until now. So like if you see something that you really are like, ooh, that sounds good, just know that if you don't get it and it sells out, you won't get it for another year, most likely. But this is that one. Like I said, it was really hot outside. It was like 108 degrees that day that this was delivered in July. But this is really nice. It does remind me of wine and Chardonnay. I guess you don't want anything to smell exactly like Chardonnay. Um, but this is more perfumey to me. It reminds me of a drink, but it's more on the perfumey side. 
um because like white musk that's like more of a perfume type of scent and fig is more like fresh anytime you see fig it's always like kind of fresh and so but it's very tart it's not sweet it's tart so maybe this was like something that she created that gave you the effect of like what chardonnay should smell like or what wine should smell like but it's really good she kind of she kind of hit it on the nail, not with it being like Chardonnay, but like a scent that reminds you of uh, a white wine or something like that. But this one, I really, really like. So I'm glad I got it. And it's super perfect for fall. That's the thing. It's like one of those uh, deeper type of scents that reminds you more like fall. Kind of like how amber is. I don't know if you've ever smelled amber in wax, but amber like reminds you of fall. Like, you know, those types of scents. The next one is Coconut Macchiato, a sweet coconut espresso, a dash of whip, and caramel drizzle. I did not like this one. And I know in my last video, I kind of raved about it, but I was only smelling it on cold. And I don't know why I try to fool myself like I like coconut. I just don't like coconut. I don't like when it's like that coconut shaving type of smell or a lot of coconut that I don't like. If you look at my videos, you will notice that a lot of scents that have coconut in it, I don't like. However, like for example, her Beach Bound, Zate Bass Beach Bound, I really like that scent. It has coconut in it. I like the um, Toes in the Sand. It has coconut in it. Now that one has a little bit more coconut, so I'm on the, I'm, it's like riding the fence on that one. But I do like it. Um, but I like the Beach Bound more. Um, so there are just certain coconut scents that I don't like, and I think it has a lot to do with like bakery and coconut or coffee and coconut, but that coconut shavings, I just cannot get with. If it was like a sweet, like coconut cream, maybe, I think that I would like it. Um, but the coconut, sh mm -mm. so I don't like this one. Um, I've already melted it. I know what it smells like melting, and it's just too much coconut for me. But her espresso is so amazing. So if you like coconut and you love coffee, she has one of the best coffee scents in the game. So I would recommend it if you love coconut and you like coconut and you don't mind coconut. But if you don't like coconut, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you love coffee and you don't mind coconut at all, I would recommend it. <laughs> so, but this one I'm actually going to give to a friend. I had it on a D-stash. But de-stashing is just more of a hassle than not. You know, you might as well keep it and melt it. Um, so, uh, this next one is donuts. And it's like, donuts. Because <laughs> uh, this one used to have uh, Homer Simpson on it. And he was eating a donut. I used to love those little pictures. She's super creative. Anyway, um strawberry jelly powdered sugar and sweet glazed donuts i wonder if she puts it on there based off of what the dominant scent is because with the coconut macchiato the coconut was the dominant scent with the welcome to stepford the lemon curd was the dominant scent and that's what i smell so here i smell the strawberry jelly and the powdered sugar the most i don't get that much of a bakery um on cold so um i also this is another one jelly donuts like i know that i don't get with jelly donuts like that i haven't found a jelly donut that i just love yet there may be one out there there may be a blend because you know people blend things differently but i haven't found it yet and so the powdered sugar and the jelly donut i just don't need two of these so one of them i'm actually going to give away as well but i do like it so i will keep one for myself and then with ashley's items oh i didn't show you the shape So that's that one. Is this not gorgeous? Uh oh, I'm about to cough. <coughs> this is gorgeous. So, like I said, it was hot. Things melted. And let me show you the coconut one. Man, this is strong too. Man. This is so strong. Like, I don't even have to open it to smell this espresso. Her espresso is super strong as well. But this looks delicious, right? Super, super pretty. Like, I love her shapes. So, those two going to a new home. Next, we have County Fair. It's caramel apples, kettle corn, and funnel cake. 
this is going to be your similar to like the circus concession type of scent, like cir circus concession type. I believe it is a type, but hers is a little bit heavier. Like normally with circus concession, I don't know, but this one is different. For some reason, this is different. Like the caramel apple comes out first, then the kettle corn. And then the funnel cake, only a little bit. It's mostly caramel uh, apple and kettle corn, but it's really good. Perfect for fall. I say this all the time. Our fair comes here at the end of September, and this is just that that scent. It really is. And look how absolutely amazingly gorgeous this is. This shape is going to be hard to cut, but I am definitely going to melt this one. I'm tired of hoarding things. And that's the thing, like vendors release things based off of the um, time of year. And so it's like we, we get them, and not, it's not just with vendors, it's Bath and Body Works also. Like we get them and it's like fall time, but we just, we just let them sit. You know, well I do, I'm, I do. This next one is Bikini Martini. It's lemonade, <laughs> lemonade and pink cotton candy. This one is very, very, very similar to pink drink, which is lemonade and pink sugar. But I love that scent. I love pink drink, but I love this scent as well. It's just like a lemonade and cotton candy scent. But the cotton candy is not too sweet. It's like, I don't know if it's pink sugar cotton candy. I don't know. It just says pink cotton candy. But it's like different. It's a different type of cotton candy. But I feel like any scent that she adds her cotton candy to, it smells a little different than other vendors. And this is so amazing. I say this all the time, but I feel like Zate Bath and her uh, wax is sweeter than other wax, like vendors or whatever, but it's a softer wax, so I'm sure it has probably more soy in it, um, but it's just, uh, this scent is amazing. Like, it's so good. Such a good lemony scent, super sweet. Um, not too tart, but just a little bit of tartness is in there. So, that's right up my alley. And did I show you the shapes? I don't remember to show the shape. So this is the first one. I'll show you the other one too because it looks like it has tie-dye. But this one is like boom boom. Oh, that's so good. And I won't take this one out, but you can see it's kind of just kind of mixed in there. So and the all yellow and black back. And so the last one I got in July. This is gonna be a longer video, so I don't know if I'm gonna do a part two or what. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna just go through it. Um, but this is a Flamingo Ring, and this is Lemon Curd Pie Crust Whipped Cream. Again, this is such a nice lemon scent. Let me smell it again. I haven't smelled that in a while. Yep, with not too much bakery. Like, it's not, it doesn't smell, well, on cold at least. On cold, it does not smell like, um, the most gorgeous in a lay world look at that flamingo look how it's perfectly layered wow anyway but it doesn't have it doesn't smell like a lemon cake at least on cold it's more of the lemon now you do get this crusty smell I'm not gonna say you don't you definitely get it more than you do like this crusty bakery you get it more in the flamingo ring than you or make Flamingo ring than you do with this, uh, Welcome to Stepford. But you still get that nice tartness from the lemon curd, which I love. So this one I might could hang on to if I didn't want to melt it right away and wanted to hoard it a little bit, but it's really, really good. I like this one better than I like Drop of Sunshine because people love that Drop of, drop of Sunshine, but I like this one better. Just saying, just saying. Um, so let's set up for this next one was from the August restock, which just happened this past Sunday. And so let's save that one for last. Um, it wasn't bad either, I, but this this restock, the one from um, this past Sunday, the August restock, it seemed to sell out a little quicker than the 
July restock. I think people get really, really excited about fall and um, those types of scents just sell out. And I don't know what happened to my sample for the July restock. So, but here's my August sample. It's Unicorn Cake, which I'm glad I got this sample because I have been wanting to try this. And it's a very cakey scent. I'm gonna have to melt it. Right now it just smells very uh, berry. But I can smell a little bit of the cake, but the cake is more so creamy than it is like bakery. But I like it. Um, this was another one that was in the July restock. It was like in the form of a pie, like those other ones. I just didn't get that one. Um, so first, I got two of everything except for these two. So I'll start with this one. This one is Gather Round. It's spiced apple. And I also want to make the point that I keep hitting the table. Um, I also want to make the point that I loved everything in this. It's such a good feeling when you make an order and it's not, it's like you love everything in it. Like you don't have any regrets. Like, you know, sometimes you'd be like, oh, I could live without this one. Like I couldn't live without the like, extra donut scent. Um, but, and of course I could have lived without the coconut macchiato, but this order, perfect. And I just got this one today. So this is Gather Round Spiced Apple Mold, Muddled. <laughs> I'm like, what? Muddled, cause I want to think mulberry, mulberry, anyway. Muddled berries and warm cinnamon. This right here is your, let me show you these things, shapes. How gorgeous is that? And this was sitting outside a little bit too. It's, right now it's what, like two o'clock almost. So it was sitting outside for a little bit. What is this? <laughs> I'm like, what is this? I don't know. It looks like a, um, what is that character? It's a cartoon, but it's like for kids. I don't know. I think he was supposed to be a porcupine. Anyway, so those are the scents, but this scent is like your quintessential fall time scent. Just walked into a craft store, but it's not heavy on the cinnamon, and that's what I, this is why I, that's why I mess with Zayt Bath. Like, for real. Like, Zayt Bath, she gets it right. Like, she surprises me a lot. And the scents that I said that I didn't care for before, those are just, like, personal preferences, you know? But, like, for this type of scent that I really like, I don't, like, enjoy it all the time or yearly or anything. Like, I'm not going to stock. You're not going to see me stock up on scents like this. But when I, like, I always get, you know, that one scent that kind of, because I get Harvest Gathering from... Bath and Body Works. And this smells just like Harvest Gathering. This is what this one smells like. So, um, but this, it just gets it right. And it's not too much cinnamon, it's not too spicy. It's just like perfect. But this smells like Harvest Gathering from Bath and Body Works, if you want to know. Um, so really, really love that one. So happy I got that one. These next two, I got two of them. This is a recommendation from Sasha. Sasha Isms here on YouTube. Uh, she was doing, and y'all should have seen me. I still didn't find the video, but y'all should have seen me going through her empties video because I don't think she did a haul for this one. I think it was just like an empties video and she was like, this is great. Like, this is good. Like, go get this. I love this. And it was very short, but you know, it's like, bam, I love that one. You already know. And so, and then she put it down to the side. And I'm like, literally the night before the restock, I'm like, flip, like watching her videos like back to back to back to back trying to figure out where she had this specific scent but I couldn't find it but I was like you know what I remember it she said she liked it I'm going to get it um because I've been really loving like tobacco well I've always loved tobacco scents even before Bender Wax um but you know Bath and Vitars didn't have like tobacco scents and things like that so I had to get my tobacco scents from like Target from the um what is that brand that they have? It's like Patty Wax or something like that. And so I would get my tobacco scents from there. And you'll see like some empties I have coming up. You'll see a lot of those scents start coming out. But I love tobacco scents. I love bourbon uh, type of scent. I love that. Anyway, <sighs> enough of that. But this is Date with an Englishman. 
It's, am I saying that right? Englishman? Englishman? Anyway, pipe tobacco, rose petals, and vanilla bean. And the reason why I kind of was reserved in buying this, um, it's just that I, uh, I wasn't sure because of those rose petals. Because I can get with rose petals, but not like that. But this is an amazing scent. It's very unique to me. And I have never smelled it. And I, was, I, I wasn't sure because I know I like tobacco and the vanilla bean, Noel. Like, that was already going to be, I love that type of scent. But the rose petals just threw me off. So, let me explain to you. Let me show you the shades. This is like a brittle, her version of brittle. So, that's what that looks like. And you get the tobacco. That is a very, and it's a very sweet tobacco. You definitely get that. But next you get this the rose petals, which is like rose jam, basically. But it's it's basically like rose jam. <laughs> so it's like tobacco mixed with rose jam, like um, the Lush product rose jam. Amazing. It's such a good scent. I love this scent. Why is my camera not focusing? I love this scent. I'm glad I got two. Such an amazing scent. Oh my gosh. So if you really like... If you, are, if you are a freshie, and that's who Sasha will be. Sasha will be a freshie. She doesn't really do a lot of bakery and too much fruity. She's like, she's a freshie. She loves fresh scents and musky scents. And like, she likes, she likes the vanilla sandalwoods, the blue sugar. She loves that. Um, but so if you are like Sasha and you love like these freshy type of scents, I think you should really try this one out because this one is really, it's nice. It's, it's not too smoky. It's like, it's just such a nice scent and it goes well to me it mixes well with the fresh scents so that's that and part of the reason why i knew i was probably gonna love this one is because i already have this this one that i got from last year again i had to wait another year to get it and i love this one so 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 much so so much that's why i had to get two i would have got more i probably might go on the site right now and see if there's any more because this is such a uh, okay let me take that back you will not go on the site and get more you will <laughs> that have to literally let me get a mirror i have to talk to myself like this because i don't need any more wax right so i i recant that statement let's keep it moving 221b baker street Tobacco leaves, warm caramel, and vanilla sugar. I know other vendors have this scent, so I think this is like a type. I don't know. I've only gotten it from her, and when I got it, I liked it, but when I warmed it, oh my gosh, it was so good. So I had that one going in the room. It was 21B Baker Street. It, I had um, her something in Marseilles. It's like a laundry scent, scent. I had that going in the front room, and I had another one going in the bathroom. Um, Oh, white tea I had going in the bathroom. And then it was another scent I had going. I just can't remember. But it all just went well together. And every time you walked into each room, I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, my, my, my place smells like elegance. Like, oh, my gosh. Everything just smells so good and so fresh. And then the room, the part of the, you know, where it would mix, like the hallways and stuff like that where it would mix, it just was perfect. So... I don't want to, really want to take these out because it's just too too much to um, put it back together. But you can see the, the shapes or whatever. And one of these shapes works. So this is pretty much eight melts. I can't remember the prices. Sorry, guys. You know, whatever. I think it's like $6, maybe. Um, but this is eight melts, which I can get with. And it's just such a nice, sweet tobacco scent. The caramel really, really warms it up. And it's just such a nice scent. Uh, and it's like tobacco leaves. Is that what it says? Yeah. So it's like tobacco leaves rather than the smoke. So the pipe tobacco, it's like more sm a sweet smoky, which is what, what's in the date with the Englishman. But this one is more like the leaves itself. It's just such a great scent. If you are, and literally that day that I was melting it everywhere and I told Sasha, I was like, um, I had to comment under her, I commented under one of her posts or something like that. I was like, girl, I was melting this, that, and the other. I said, this must be what Sasha's house smells like all the time. It was amazing. Like, it was just, uh, it was such an amazing, and that's why I had to get more. But I'm going to try not to go back on there and get any more because I don't need any more wax. This next one is Fall Eats. This is a new one. So this is uh, pumpkin waffles. 
espresso, whipped cream, and crushed pecan. This one, I don't think it was listed like this on the site, so, and now that I'm looking at it and, you know, smelling things and kind of comparing it to uh, what uh, comes first, like what's the more dominant scent, I don't know, because this one to me is more heavy on the espresso. It's more, it's such a nice coffee scent. Oh my gosh. These scents, I, I mean, these shapes, I love these little waffle shapes she does. Like, why would she even think to just put glitter on this one side? That's just so creative to me. I don't know. It's like so artsy. Oh, this is a good scent. So it's not it's not really a pumpkin pecan waffle because I don't get any maple. And with pumpkin pecan waffle, you get maple. But this is like mostly like that espresso. And you get this bakery. Oh, it's just good. And you, I know it says crushed pecans, but it's not the, it's not pumpkin pecan waffle. She might. I don't know, it may be pumpkin, pumpkin pecan waffle, but she's found out a way to switch it up because it's mostly the um, espresso and the waffle mixture. And I like coffee and bakery as well. So this one, that's a really nice coffee scent. Really like that. It's not too sweet. It's not too heavy. Love that one. And last but not least, this one is Fall Naps. This is another one that I've been wanting since last year that I missed out on. It sold out last year. It sold out this year. Everybody was bummed that it sold out. Um, but she's going to bring it back in scoopables. So I would, and I was like, I hope she does not release this scoopable list until I can smell it. Because I don't know what it smells like. I don't know if I like it. But I've been really loving fresh scents here lately. Laundry has been like one of my not go-to's because I love my bakery but it's been something I've really been enjoying when I do like if I have the whole place filled with laundry scents it's just kind of relaxing and I feel like it's homey it feels like home you know um but when I saw flannel sheets I was like yeah I knew I wanted it last year but I couldn't remember what the uh scent notes were so flannel sheets autumn leaves fall breeze this is a laundry blend Oh, but it is so, look at these shapes. I don't want to take these out either because they were just kind of placed perfectly in there. But I guess I'll take them out. And this, this wax has, I don't know, kind of. Um, so, it's like a leaf. I feel like my hands are melting this wax. You know, our wax is softer, so. I just feel like my hands are melting the wax or something because it's sticking to my hands. Um, that's a leaf. All these are leaves and, they, leaves and then you have this pumpkin. But this is a nice fall laundry scent. It's a little deeper. It may have a little amber in it. I don't know. It may have like a little bit of amber. Um, but it's, it smells like flannel sheets. It's not like a gain laundry. If that's all you smell is gain or it's not like white clouds or anything like that. It's flannel sheets. Uh, which is just this nice, fresh, almost like a dryer sheet type of scent. And it's just a little deeper because of the amber. Or I don't know if it has amber in it. It may not have amber in it. But something in there is making it more of a deep scent. And uh, it might be just the autumn leaves. So if it's... Does it have any apple? It does have a slight apple scent, so it might be like the leaves type from Bath and Body Works. It could also be falling leaves that a lot of vendors use. I don't know, but this is such a nice scent. I will be getting it in scoopables when she releases that. And um, yeah, that is my haul, 30 minutes in. Uh, if you stuck it out, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in a later video. Bye, guys.